This one is also very important, but doesn't have a picture as plugin features don't really show in the UI when one opens up mCreator, but are equally important for all the plugins that follow after the release. On this front, the most important change is list support in multiple places. Code generators now can generate files based on the list data source. Blocky blocks now support blocks that provide lists of inputs, fields, or statements. New event types with documentation were added for Java plugins. We have also improved generator templates. So some parameters are no longer needed as they are determined automatically. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the recap video for mCreator 2023.1. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.